Hello Virgo. So let's go ahead and get started. I have prayed over the cards, shuffled them, ask that each of you receives at least one message. We are pulling today from Doreen Virtue's Archangel Power Tarot deck, her magical messages from the fairies, and then Tony Carmine Salerno's Universal Love deck. And there's no beautifully decorated table today. Been crazy busy, digging in dirt, working in the yard. But hey, we're getting the reading done. So that's all that matters. We'll make that happen. So let's see, make sure you guys can see that all lined up. Mm -mm -mm. That one's on the move. Let's see what's going on. <laughs> card is four of Michael and it says insights that come from quiet meditation the need for more sleep or time off seek relief from stress I thought we had this one last week maybe it was the week before um, so since they're bringing it up again they really want us to get the message and um, take a break take some time to ourselves so what they're saying is the the solution that you're seeking will come from inside it's going to come from meditation it's going to come from going inward it's going to come from trusting your heart trusting what you're intuitively getting trusting your emotions and taking action on those things so they've been trying to give a number of you some some guidance and some information for some of you they've been trying to give it to you in your dreams for some of you they, they've been trying to give you these you know unexpected epiphanies but you're just so busy that you're not hearing them and for some of you you're on purpose staying so busy so that you don't hear them but they're saying you're keeping yourself stuck. They're ready to help you progress forward. Because for a number of you, they're, they're saying for a large number of you, this is love related. This is a relationship related. It's matters of the heart. It's been extremely painful for you. For some of you, you've been untangling yourself from someone. For some of you, it's moving forward with someone, but it's been a very challenging emotional time. And they're saying for some of you, you've just, you've not wanted to deal with it. You've not wanted to think about what your next steps are. You've not wanted to, you know, acknowledge your feelings. You've not wanted to move forward, be it out of fear, out of worry, out of stress, out of anxiety. So you've been tuning out. They're saying you've been you've been tuning out the information they're trying to give you to help you move forward, and, and you're just keeping yourself stuck. And they say they've they've cleared the path. They have everything ready for you to move forward. You just you just need to open up and listen to the information they're giving you, so you can move forward. Now, for some of you, they're saying for a very small number of you, this situation is work-related. You've been dealing with a lot of emotional stress with coworkers, supervisors at work. Same thing. They're trying to give you some solutions, some recommendations, how to fix things, how to repair things, improve things. But, but you need to slow down and you need to listen to the intuitive guidance that you're getting, the epiphanies you're getting. And for those of you that are getting insights in your sleep, Ask Archangel Michael to help you remember your dreams when you wake up. So when you go to bed at night, if you ask that Archangel Michael helps you remember any of the messages that you receive while you're asleep, helps you remember them accurately, clearly, and vividly when you wake up in the morning, he will help you with that. Because, because they're given, all of you that are in this situation, they, they keep giving you the, the information on what to do. For some of you, it was really a really big situation with someone. Or small number very big situation at work they're even giving you huge epiphanies of as to why those things happened but you're not hearing them and you're keeping yourself stuck in an unhappy and they're saying lonely place for a number of you you're, you're staying stuck in an unhappy and lonely place you don't need to be there but you're going to have to set yourself free you're going to have to listen to the guidance that they're giving you so take a walk outdoors take some time away from the activities that are keeping you so overwhelmed that you can't let your mind quiet to hear their guidance. They're saying for some of you, stop filling your schedule with things to purposefully keep yourself from hearing the guidance and then facing those, you know, emotions and thoughts and then intuitive information and uh, and even and even the epiphanies. For most of you, this is related to love. And they're saying some of you, you you had to let someone go, and you've not wanted to face that and accept that. So or you've had a hard time doing it and, and they're saying some of you've had a hard time because you're like, why? I don't understand why. Because just that person not being meant for you and having a bunch of red flags is not enough that you want more information. Why? So they're saying you're, you're keeping yourself stuck. They're trying to give you that information, but they're saying for some, some of you, you have just thrown yourselves into so many activities 
to not think about it and to not get that answer because okay what they're saying is some of you that had to let someone go you knew the person wasn't right for you you knew it wasn't meant to be it finally has come to um, finality finally has ended they've gone their way you've gone your way but you're not wanting to accept that and you're not wanting to go inward and and, and finally acknowledge it to yourself they're saying like you don't want to acknowledge to yourself that that person was not good for you that 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 there's something better for you but in order for you to get unstuck you, you you're going to have to do that. But they're saying a lot of you already know that. So the good thing is they're saying when you do take this time to yourself and you, and you listen and you, you take that walk outdoors and you just listen to your intuitive thoughts, your emotions, your feelings, you're going to get those epiphanies and they're going to resonate with you 100%. And it's not going to be a, oh my gosh, this is horrible. You know, I'm in so much pain, but a, oh, okay. Yeah, yeah, you're right. They weren't good for me. Yeah, you're right. I do. I do deserve better. I am worthy of love. But it's going to free you from those chains that have held you back. And they say it's really going to be easy because uh, those of you that are in that situation, you, you already know. You just need to let your your heart, you need to let you, you feel what's coming th from your heart. Um, not be so logical and throwing yourselves into work. So they're encouraging you to do that. Get outside. It takes some time off work. Take time away from all your activities that keep you so busy so you can just focus on you. Relax. Ask for help remembering your dreams and you're gonna get what you need. You're gonna get the solution. You're gonna get that aha so you can move forward. Next card is Ace of Raphael. At the bottom it says a positive new emotional experience, fulfilling romantic relationships, deep and lasting spiritual insights. Again, back to that aha getting that information so that you can move forward and in Archangel Raphael he's he's the angel of love they're saying new beginnings by hearing those insights and moving forward now they're saying it's new beginnings for love so there's a number of you actually I say most of you okay most of you this is this is all about love actually having your dreams come true with someone making it through all the emotional turbulence for a lot of you having to let someone go for some of you though that person's part of the emotional turbulence Okay, they're gonna give us more on that here in a minute. <laughs> next card, yeah, okay, we're gonna tie that all, back here, all together here in a moment. So next card is High Priestess, and on the bottom it's Powerful Psychic Insights, Reflection, and Meditation that provides valuable information, be at peace. So again, they're really encouraging you to just go inward, really go inward, allow yourself that time so that you can move forward. Because they're saying, so the answers that you're seeking, the answers that you need, the, the solution, for some of you, the why did this happen? It's gonna come from within. And they're trying to provide you that insight so you can move forward. If you look in this card, that card's not staying still anyhow. <laughs> if you look at this card, you know, You've got some dolphins. You have a pair of dolphins. It's love. They're talking about love. They're trying to get you in your union with your beloved, with the person you're supposed to be with. They're giving you insights on how to do that. They're giving you steps on what your next step is. They're giving you the encouragement, the validation, the confirmation to proceed forward. They're giving you all that insight right now all the steps, all the keys, what the next action step is. For some of you, you're just really afraid. So they're helping ease your fears through this, you know, psychic intuitive information that you're getting. Cause, cause we all have intuitive abilities. Some of us are just, you know, if you can, if you look at it like it's school, some of us are, you know, we're in kindergarten. <laughs> we're just figuring it out. We're kind of like, okay, I keep, you know, having issues with my car over and over and I keep thinking of a new Toyota Corolla over and over and over, but you're not connecting the dots that they're trying to let you know your car's gonna die and, and they have a new Toyota Corolla lined up for you to get. But but you know you're getting some signs, not really sure what, but then some of us are, you know, we're in grad school, so we can, you know, hear angels speak, see them, what, but we all have it. It's just different levels, but you're getting it. They're saying all of you that this is a message for. You're getting their messages. They're, and you will get their messages if you listen. So they're saying, listen, they're trying to help you. So please just take the time so they can give those things to you. So we typically go over all the cards one at a time. So 
for a very small number of you, this first card this was talking about, going inward, listening to those insights, it is going to help you come up with a solution and steps, action steps to fix your situation at work, work-related. For a few of you, it's, it's going to even help you with some relationship, um, a situation with you know a loved one, family member, friend. It's going to help you fix that. But for the majority of you, this message, it's all about love. It's all about um, romantic relationship with someone. It's all about love. If you look here, the card is abundance, and she's hugging a tree, and there's a heart right above her above her head. So you know, where they're you know encouraging you to think about what it is that you want. So like, if you sat down and you thought, okay, if I could wish for anything, love, work, life, <laughs> if I could wish for anything, what would I dream for? What would I desire? What would I want? And they're saying that you have done that. You've uh, they're saying a number of you you've put your your dream list together for love you have these hopes and these dreams in your heart and, and things that you want to share with someone share your life with someone they've they've had all these things happen to help bring you into alignment to help bring you together with that person who's meant for you who for some of you it is a divine love a divine union I know, I'm planning to do a separate divine love reading, but hey, maybe I won't have to since they're going down this path. Maybe they're trying to save me time. But, um, but for some of you, it's a very strong divine love. But for so many of you, this reading is about love. It's about coming together with that person that you love. That is your dreams come true. Abundance overflowing. So you've had these hopes and dreams to share your life with someone, to help serve others with someone, to have a family with someone. These have always been your hopes and dreams, but they've always eluded you for so many years. It's now time. This is time for that. So all those things are now going to overflow in abundance with this person that they have for you. And they're congratulating you because a number of you have had to let someone go. You have had the heavy weight lifted of someone else. And for a lot of you, it has been a very heavy weight because the, for a lot of you, that person tore you down. They made you doubt yourself. They made you doubt your value, who you are, your worth. They made you doubt how amazing and awesome you are. And you've gone through the painful process of letting that person go and they are congratulating you on that because that had to happen. Person wasn't meant for you. You knew it, they knew it, finally has ended. And there's a reason because God's got something so much better for you that's going to have all your hopes and dreams come true. But, but you have to listen to your intuition. And they're saying you have to be open to the new. Okay. So. Give you guys a visual of what they're talking about. So. Uh, let me stand up and see if you guys can see these. So if you look at these two cards. <laughs> oh my gosh. Try not to knock the camera down. So if you look at these two cards. Their arms are open wide. His arms are open wide. Her arms are open wide. So they're saying that you're ready, that that other person is ready. And for some of you that have had the doubt and the worries that, okay, is this is this really gonna work out? Is this really gonna happen? You know, I, I let this person go. I'm all alone and sad and miserable. And how can this happen? And I want these things and I want this love of lifetime. And, is it really going to happen? Because you're saying a lot of you, saying many of you already know the person that you're going to come together with. And what's happened is, so for some of you, let's start off with the easy one first. Okay, so for some of you, you know who this person is. You, you've met this person. Um, you've had things happen. It's time to come together with that person. You're ready. They're ready. You're both ready. Now, you have your arms closed because you, you're, you're unsure you're uncertain but if you listen to the intuitive guidance that you're getting you won't be uncertain anymore and you're gonna know exactly what to do which is step one open up your arms be open to that person be ready for them and for some of you you're both already ready for each other just both of you are mobilized in fear not moving forward now for some of you what they were saying is there's been a love triangle situation you your partner um, had to let someone go someone had been around for a long time and really, you know, hurt you, hurt them. Um, so let's say for a number of you, you had this person that you had been dating for ages and you kept trying to get back together with them. You kept trying to make it work out. It wasn't working out. Lots of red flags that they were not the right person for you, cheating, lying, what it, a plethora of things that were occurring. Lots and lots of red flags. So finally, it, it comes to a conclusion, comes to an end. They finally go their way, you go your way. But when you were back and forth with that person, you had a third person 
who really was the person you could sense was the right one for you. But what had happened in the, what happened in that that the triangle of the three is um, they're saying that you have done. They're saying for some of you. So say you're the person that's got the two people. You're the person, you've got the one person you keep trying to work things out with, keep getting back and forth with it, but you get, you've got the other person who you, you feel drawn to and you really, you know, feel is meant for you. So you end things with a person that's not good for you, um, that God was trying to take away from you for so long, and you, you've had this emotional time of trying to finally let that person go. They are congratulating you on letting that person go. That person was not good for you. You were to let that person go. But now the thing is you're, you're now shifting and looking to this other person who you've always felt all along was truly your meant to be, your divine partner. But you're afraid that you've hurt that person too much. So you're afraid of the, you know, things that you have done in the past to that person, the going back to the other person, having them know it, the not communicating with them, the not seeing them, these, these things have made you leery of moving forward because in your eyes, okay, I would never go back with someone who treated me like that. So you're thinking there's no way that I have, you know, a shot with him because I've just done, you know, done him wrongly for so many years, but they're helping you with that because they say that they've healed your heart, they've healed their heart. For those of you that are in this situation, this is a divine partnership, they're saying. For, so for those of you that are in this relationship, it's a divine partnership, and I'm not going to go in and spend a whole lot of time because there are some of you that have a person, it's not a love triangle that you're going to get back with, that's not, but for those those of you that they're saying that it's, this is a love triangle, it's, it's a divine partnership, it's a divine union, a divine relationship. There are lots of very special unique things with divine partnerships and divine relationships. So, so for those of you out there that this is a message for, you know that you're in that type of union, type of partnership. So if you've hurt that person, but you know it's a divine partnership relationship, they have their arms open and are ready for you as well. Your heart has healed, their heart is healed. You just need to remember, and I was wondering why they brought this card. Now, there's, now they're explaining it to me. You just need to remember that you're amazing. You need to remember that you're awesome. You need to not be afraid to move forward. Because they say, you know, you're delightful, you're perfect, you, this is meant to be. Um, so don't be anxious about the future. Don't be anxious and worried about moving forward. You know, the weight of the old has been lifted. They have cleared the path. And although you don't know it, they're saying you both have your arms open. You're both ready. But you're gonna have to listen to your intuitive guidance that will give you that 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 push to take that action step to move forward to move toward each other and for some of you that this is not a love triangle that's great so you've got this person that you're really interested in you'd really like to be with but you're not really sure if they're into you for some of you you have gone out with them and then you you know maybe you didn't contact them for a while so same thing you're not sure if they're going to give you a shot you're afraid you've upset them heard them listen to your intuitive guidance you're getting a lot of intuitive guidance ask that Archangel Michael helps you remember your dreams take a walk in nature oftentimes angels would give us signs with animals you know so if you're asking you know do I give him a call do I go and visit her do I invite her out for coffee do I do I reach out to that person so say you're out taking a walk in nature and you're asking those questions and a cardinal swoops right down in front of your face and sits right beside you. That's them telling you yes. Cardinals speak of courage, being fearless. Yeah, courage, power. That would be your sign from them that yes, move forward, do that. So, so they're really encouraging you to do that. And sorry for those of you that didn't want to hear about love because this is pretty much all about love. There was that small number we're talking about work and just, you know, relationships with others. But majority it is love related for most of you. So I do hope that that helps you because since they focused all of it on love, that means that there's a number of you that are out there in, in these types of love situations. And all you have to do they're encouraging you to do is just to to listen to that inner knowing listen to the intuitive psychic information the guidance that you're getting and then act on that because all your dreams are just waiting on the other side so I wish you the very best getting those messages um, they are there to help you they are going to help you through this be brave be fearless be courageous and uh, filled with a lot of love joy and blessings